Hi, this is Tony. We are doing a fantastic photo shoot of my garage by Eric's Garages AZ. Drive it like you stole it, bitches. Forget about it. Hey everybody, this is Eric with Eric's Garage AZ coming at you. And I got my buddy Tony. We're up here in North Phoenix with a 1954 Ford Ranch Wagon Custom Line, right? Yes, Custom Line Series. Custom Line Series. This thing is off the chart cool. Tony, I met you at the Indoor Custom Car Show in downtown Phoenix here last spring or something, and then we wanted to get together, but the weather here in Arizona became brutal. Brutal. So now we're dealing with beautiful weather, what, mid-90s today or something. I mean, you know, you're from Jersey, I'm from Detroit. We don't miss the snow, do we, man? This is what it's all about, <laughs> guys. Exactly, yeah, yeah. So tell us about this absolutely awesome, cooler than shit car. I mean, this is just bad of the bone, man. Well, let me start out with the history and why I went with a wagon. Never thought I'd own a wagon. We came back from an event with my Pro Street truck, which we have inside, and I got tired of trailering it. Spoke to the wife and said, we need a driver. So uh, once she gave me the blessing, she said, just get a AC in it. I found this in Missouri. It was on eBay. Yeah. And uh, eventually we agreed on a price. And when it got delivered to me by Reliable Transport, it was not what I thought it was. Okay. Should have gone out and saw it. But right. anyway, um, I thought it was cool. So we started on it. Started okay. from the back and worked our way front. All right. So on the back, what was the first thing you did back here? Well, actually underneath, the first thing I did was replace the gas tank. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, I started really? underneath. So replacing the gas tank. Obviously. Underneath. Underneath. Right. And then move we're, we're not going to go underneath. Right. And then move my way forward. From the gas tank, we went from the drive shaft. From there, we went to the transmission. From there, we went to the motor. So basically, you did all the the underpinnings and all the drive lines stuff right. first to get it rolling first. Get it rolling, and we wanted to make it was correct, and we wanted to make it safe since my wife was going to drive it with me. Okay, cool. Well, let's go up here and take sure. a look here. All right. So now you also mentioned off camera. Go ahead, step up here closer to it. You also mentioned off camera that you had to redo something with the right. body. The, the body came chopped but it wasn't correctly chopped. So basically what I did is took it down to metal. That, that, was, a, that was a feat. And um, saw what was done, repaired what was done, had my buddy out there who was a painter, re-scored it. And um, it's, as you can see, it's a long black top. Yes. So if there's any imperfections, it would have shown. But they did a really nice job. I'll tell you what, it's it been, looks really, really good, man. It was chopped about five inches from original. Oh, no kidding. Right? Wow, that's cool. Yeah, and we went with a, we went with the original 54 C. Hayes green that's paint. That's what this color is here? Right, C. Hayes green. All right, now is it, when you see original 54 paint, is it the original paint composition or the original paint color? Paint color. Paint color, okay. Correct, okay. paint color. All right. And then um, from there, um, the interior, which I'll show you. Notice though, notice, notice, notice. Show over here, shut the door again. It's all shaved. Yes. There's no external buttons or handles or nothing like that. It's all shaved. So when the windows are up, is this operated remotely? Yes. Like with a regular remote? Yes. Okay. It will pop open the doors. Okay, okay. So, all right. All right. cool. We, yep. All right. Love that shave look though. Yeah, that's pretty neat. And basically, what we did is uh, on interior, everything is new. Even the seats were done over. The seats came with the car. Okay. These did here? Yes, they did. Okay. Is this leather? No, it's a pleather, I guess. Okay. It's okay. All right. You know, All right. And um, put a new headliner in it with it. Had a radio, put the gauges where they were. Didn't really need a radio. And put a low car shifter in just for the look. And. Um, the rest is history. I mean, it's it, you know we're set up. How for, long have you had it? We've had it now for about four and a half years. Okay, all four right. Four and a half years. So how many miles would you say? I mean, obviously not a daily. No. How many miles would you say you drive this car? Well, when we were on the East Coast, we probably put on about three thousand miles when we was on the East Coast. Okay, all right. Like Sunday drives, drive Sunday the car drives, or we we went to North Carolina, went in Massachusetts, New okay. York. You know, some cool, events, man. you know. Right yeah, right. Yep. Now I like this here. This is a, a sunshade, or sun I mean, visor. was that sun visor? Was that kind of like part of the Ford family back in the day? And it was, yes. And without that, you would you would miss the look because yeah, without it that, cool. it just it just takes it away and it gives it a little bit more length. Yeah. You know. Um, matter of fact, I was fortunate to find an exact uh, uh, NOS one without paint on it. 
and I bought it on eBay. So if this one ever is a problem, I have a backup. Very hard cool. to find. I bet they are, yeah. Yep. And it yep. gives it that aggressive kind of, I want to use the term mafia look. Okay. But it, I mean, a gangster look. A gangster, yeah, yeah, yeah. The gangster back in Jersey. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Right, and now, it's a custom line. There yeah, we go. yeah, yeah. And what we did here, a couple little things. The wipers were straight. We cut them, braised them, because I just didn't like the look. So now right. we've got that little angle. Okay, just gives sure. It that look. Yeah. Um, a little bit more lower profile. Because too. it is a driver, which it is, we put a skin over the fenders, the hood. The eyebrows, the valance. When so you say a skin, you're talking about that vinyl wrap? Yes, a three, clear vinyl yes wrap. it's a clear vinyl okay. wrap. And this way, uh, as we drive it, it won't beat up the, right. the whole nose. Right, right. Okay, that's yep. pretty cool. Yep. Yep. Now, I noticed also when I did a couple of videos of it earlier that these are different kinds of headlamps. Is well, that, there's what a kind of headlamp is that? Yeah, there's, this is a great story. Now, we were up in uh, the East Coast and we were at um, Syracuse Nationals, big car event up sure. there. And what I was trying to do when we first purchased this car is find a blinker and parking light setup. As you can see, the grill, I really didn't want to, I wanted to keep it clean. Yeah. But I was thinking of, you know, putting something in this location okay. so that I would, that would be, be able cool. to have the blinkers and the signals. Well, right. my wife was doing a Vava Ding, we call it a walkthrough. And um, she says, come with me, I think I found what you need. And she showed me these headlights, which are uh, OEM, with the brake and the uh, signal built right in. So it gives no it kidding. that clean look. So you don't have the extra signal light out here, but when you turn turn the signals on, this turns it blinks amber. Well, you got one section here, right, for the parking, and you got this section here for the blinker. Oh, be damn. Yeah, that's pretty so crazy. It gives it a nice clean look. Wow. And they work great. You know. And I like this. This is this is a '54, so we're dealing with basically. The rocket age, if you will, yeah. of our country. So yeah. a lot of the cars had the big fins, but they also had the, the jet airplanes and, and that kind of look to it and whatnot. And I like the, the grill look. I mean, that's not a stock grill, is no, it? No, no. As a matter of fact, I can't take credit on that. When I purchased the car, it came with it. Okay. We had to just straighten out a couple of things on it, but uh, whoever did that, they did a nice job. Did they? That's they did a nice cool. job. So All right, right on. I give uh, kudos to him. All right, right on. All right, so. You indicated earlier that we get to check out the engine, so stay tuned yep. for the engine. All right, so we're gonna check out this engine, but he also pointed something out regarding the hood too. The hood is is massive. I mean, it's all steel, right? Yes, okay. all steel. And you said it has two springs, yep. so there's a spring there, and there's a spring there, and you can see right there the two springs. And when you lift it, I noticed it was you had to kind of be careful with it. Yes. Is it because it's so heavy? It's heavy and, and, and you know, it, because of the weight, that's why they require, and the way it comes up, uh, they required the dual springs. It looked like it moved forward It did, bit, it did move it forward. Up. Yes. Okay, it all right. All right. Yes. So I bet you this was a bugger to have to remove to repaint and put back on, wasn't it? It, it, it was, yes, it was. And and the shoehorn the motor in there, that was, that was interesting. What we did here on the front end, I was fortunate enough to be on the East Coast so without a motor, I went down to North Carolina, went to, um, um, oh, who's the front clip people? Um, can't remember the name. It's okay. But anyway, it'll come to me. And uh, we put a front clip in, Mustang II, with drop spindles. All right. And uh, we've got the suspension set up so that we can drive it. Okay. Picked up a 351 Windsor. Had That's what this is here? Yeah. 351 Windsor, yep. okay. Had it totally rebuilt. Put a mild cam in, I set up with Edelbrock. I see that. And um, we're getting about 350 horse on the dyno just Pretty so cool. that it would move this wagon sure. as a. Because I bet this thing weighs a lot, doesn't it? it, it I would say at least, eh, probably about 4,000 pounds, 4, pounds, but you know, yeah. again, you know, we needed something to push it. Put an AODE uh, five speed automatic transmission in it. Very nice. 331 Very gears well, in the shifting. back. Yep. That shifter was actually put it in. Park, That's all it is. Just okay. put it in gear and drive it. Good, good, good. Now get on the highway and she's once she's in fifth gear, she's just cruising. Yeah, because you see, you want this as a driver. As a driver. That's cool. As a driver. And again, the 331s in the back are posi. What's um, this here? This is the original. What I did with this car, I like to keep some originality with yeah, it. Yeah. So the that is the fan motor that came with the ranch wagon. That's the fan motor. That's the, the whole fan motor ranch setup wagon. right there. So that's the fan motor that blows. Air into the yeah, whatever for, it is. For, for heat, defrost, correct. 
Whatever. Correct. Now I notice it has an air conditioning unit in there. Is yes. That, is that uh, aftermarket? Yes, it's that, aftermarket. Be aftermarket Cool period, designed it. Period correct. Period correct. Be Cool set it up, and a good friend of mine uh, put it in for me. Okay. And um, what, one other interesting fact we did here is you can see the radiator support. We yes. cut it, and then we put this bar just for yes. know, some kind of aesthetic look to it. Yeah. To give it the strength. And also, what I did is I sent the original radiator out, the original one, to Be Cool. And I told them to match it exactly as the original with one of your aluminum ones. Right. Brackets. This way, when it came back, all they had to do is just drop it right in, right. tighten it down, bada bing, done. Right. So. And they did that? Yes, they did. Perfect. That's and awesome. And getting back to the front end clip, it was Fat Man's Fabrications who did that. It just came to me. Out of, out of, out of North, North Carolina. Okay. And, we, right. and I drove cool. down there and just had them do a nice front clip on it. Now I like the air cleaner. It's kind of like yes. spaceshipy and what, it's a Cadillac if you will. Air cleaner. That's it really Cadillac. Yeah, made Cadillac. It? No made kidding. It. Yeah. And we just wow. two toned it and just gave it a different look. This and is just really neat, Tony. I mean, this car is. I caught my eye again at the indoor custom car show because you don't see. This is the first one I've ever seen, and you don't see them. Well, I haven't seen them. You don't see them chopped. That's for no. sure and it's just really really cool so we're gonna wrap up here in a minute but as we wrap up is there anything you want to share with our viewers regarding either the car culture or car experiences or building your cars or anything you're, you're freaking awesome amazing you know man cave back there. well the thing is is um let, let's get to the man cave this is what it's all about guys the hobby let's go and, and take a look at this man cave right as, now. As, as you see here this complex has about 53 garages with different sizes and each garage is geared for the hobbyist meaning I have hot rods in mine next door would have hot rods in his motorcycles whatever it may be Let's take a look at this here but it's a it's a community that everybody is on one page and it's all about the hobby that's pretty cool yeah that's cool. you could be a ceo or you can you know be anybody you want here but when it comes to the cars everybody just gets along and it's again all, all about the hobby i see some trophies back here which is awesome to see a little bit of car memorabilia up there whatnot but then what really caught my eye what really caught my eye is this chill out area over here this is the cigar lounge. This is the cigar lounge. <laughs> this is where all the major decisions in life are made, That's right? It. We settle the world's problems here. here. <laughs> One problem at a time. Yes, yes. Wow, that's very cool. Well, Tony, I'll tell you, man, I got to thank you again for the opportunity to be here and, you know, interview you, get a little bit better idea of who you are. You're a really cool cat. Welcome to AZ. You've been here, what, a year now? A year and two months. A year and two yeah, months. Yeah. So you survived basically the end of one summer and the entire summer here. So another four or five years, you become acclimated to it, which sure, is very cool. Sure. Um, so as we wrap up, anything else you want to share with everybody? Well, uh, a real quick look is uh, this pickup behind you. We won't put a lot of time in it. But it's a 62 unibody, very rare truck. 62 unibody, you said? Yes, where the bed and the cab is one piece. They only made them since 61, 2, and 3. There's no separation. Oh, wow. She's, yeah. And um, it is just one hell of a beast. But it is. When I want to feel like I'm in high school, I jump into this 514 cubic inch, 700 horsepower motor with a 200 shot of nitrous, mind you. Wait, and, wait. Um, 200 shot of nitrous. Let's go take a look at this. We just have one heck of a ride. Hey everybody, it's Eric with Eric's Garage AZ coming at you again. And I just got home from a really awesome video photo shoot. Me and this guy, Tony, met him last year at the indoor show in Phoenix. He's got this really cool, crazy 1954 ranch wagon um, Crestliner. And he's got this most awesome man cave in the world. It's a 30 by 50 double story um, garage. It has a loft and it has a seating area for cigars and chilling out with uh, rum and beer and I mean, he was a really cool cat. It was awesome being there and this video I'm hoping is going to be one of my best because it was so cool, so casual. So remember folks, like, subscribe, share, what the senior subscribe to AZ Land is, drop like and stole it, bitches. Till next time. Boom.
everybody, thanks for watching this recent episode of What's in Your Garage, only here in Eric's Garage AZ. And I want to extend a big thanks to all my viewers out there. I know it's been a minute since I've published anything up on the, uh, YouTube. I want to thank my new subscribers and my old subscribers. Stay tuned for more. All sorts of cool stuff coming your way right here on Eric's Garage AZ.